Wisdom teeth are the final set of molars, aka the back teeth, that we get in our mouths. They can erupt or grow in several different ways. They can erupt straight into the mouth without causing any type of wisdom teeth symptoms, if you're lucky, which is great. And that's what's happening on the top wisdom tooth here. It's coming in nice and straight. However, as you can see on the bottom wisdom tooth, they can also sometimes only partially erupt, which is where a portion of the tooth is visible, but the remainder of it is submerged down in your gums and bone, which is not good because that area of the gum is super prone to infection now. Another way it can erupt is at an angle and it would get stuck against the second molars, the molars right in front of it. So when that happens, since they are butting up against your healthy tooth in front of it, those healthy teeth can now become damaged and develop cavities, be more prone to gum disease, and then you'll be losing both teeth instead of just the wisdom tooth. So to prevent this, impacted wisdom teeth are often best removed before they ever interfere with the teeth in front of them. Then there are also situations where the tooth is fully impacted and it doesn't have the ability to erupt. It might be wedged at an angle into the tooth next to it, blocked by bone or surrounded in a cyst. But no matter what appears to be going on with your wisdom teeth when you're clinically looking in your mouth, you'll need a panoramic x-ray to confirm exactly how they are sitting on your bone. You won't know until you could see underneath with an x-ray. And one of the major reasons you would need an extraction that you would need to get them pulled is because there isn't room in your mouth for wisdom teeth. That's, that's the main reason. Usually there's not enough room. If there is enough room, sometimes they still are just too far back there and it's too hard for you to properly brush and floss. It's too hard to reach, which makes them more prone to infections such as tooth decay and gum disease. So those are some of the reasons you might need to get them extracted in any case. If you do need them extracted, you'll always at minimum be numbed up with local anesthetic. If you're someone who is nervous about the numbing injection, you can always request nitrous oxide, aka laughing gas, prior to the shot. So then you'll be more relaxed and you won't even notice the shot is happening. Oftentimes, if you're getting all four of your wisdom teeth out at once, they'll recommend you'll go under something called twilight sedation, which is an IV anesthetic in addition to the numbing injection so you would also be numb if you have severe anxiety they might even recommend oral sedation and or general anesthesia just depending on your individual situation so after the wisdom teeth are extracted they might place medication or a bone graft down into the socket then suture the extraction site closed sutures are usually dissolvable or you will need to get them removed in the next week your dentist will let you know and if you want to learn more about recovery instructions on how to heal quickly, I'll link my post up video in the description box below. And until then, please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. And if you want more teeth talk, we can hang out on Instagram at teeth talk girl. Peace, love and teeth.